Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm finally going to be putting away some photo cards, postcards, and other inclusions into my binders. I pre-recorded my last three or four videos, so all of those reorganization videos were actually recorded back in October, so I haven't even touched these binders in like two or three months. So I'm super duper excited to finally work on them and put all of these photo cards away. But yeah, I'll stop rambling with this super long intro and get right into the first binder. So I'll actually be starting off with my dump binder, which is my RBB binder. Okay, so I actually took a little break and adjusted the camera angle a little to help with this glare down here. I'm really, really sorry about it, but I'll just be going through here and adding some larger inclusions and photo cards that don't go in my other binders. So let me go through here and kind of find the stuff that I need to put in here. Okay, so I think these are all of the smaller inclusions that will go in here, but let me go through these larger inclusions. Okay, so actually, I think that's it for this binder. There's just these smaller inclusions to put away in here. So yeah, first I have this Jamin circle card from Reload. I am looking to trade for Legends equivalent since that's the last circle card that I need. This rosé puzzle piece does not fit in a nine pocket page, unfortunately, but next I have this Irene Lenticular, this extra Joy Finale card, which will be up for trade for any of the Joy Finale cards that I still need on my wish list. This kind of damaged Suki Clear card, this Yeti Day 2 card, this Jungu card from Resonance the Arrival version and if anybody has Taeyong or Marks feel free to message me on Instagram if you're interested in Jungu since I already have Legends on the way. And finally this Dum Dum group card from Andy. And I'll just go ahead and fill these twice cards back in here. I feel like I haven't filmed like a normal organization video like with no Q&A or any ranting or anything in forever so I'm really really awkward and don't really know what to talk about but I'll just put this puzzle piece back here next to Hyunjin you can't really see her but she's right here in the corner but yeah I'm really awkward I don't really know what to talk about but we're done with the first RBB binder next we'll go through my Irene binder and I think I just have a couple of cards actually and and I'll actually be finishing up my Irene collection today. So I just have those two cards. Let me get up my sleeves. So my dog actually interrupted me, so I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, these two Irene cards will actually be finishing up my collection today. God, that's a loud ass car. But first I have this velvet card. She's so stinking cute. This is probably one of my favorite Irene cards. And I am using the Dragon Shield sleeves as usual. And she will go right up here on the first page. Oh my god. So that fills one of these spaces. And then here is the Summer Magic normal card. I don't know why, but this one is low-key kind of hard to find. It was giving me a lot of trouble. But I'm super duper happy to finally have this card. And she will go right here oh my god is my ring collection complete it is right let me do a quick flip through i'm not gonna like go through the card since i want to save that for an updated collection video my ring collection is finally complete it only took me five or six months i would say so i didn't spend too much money thankfully i was able to find most of the cards for a good price but yeah there is my irene binder and actually let me do this mini binder next i pretty much store all of my nct photo cards in here along with my friends photo cards so i have like her hyunjin cards my tail neo zone kino card and yeah basically i just store a bunch of random nct cards in here that aren't lenjin but i think i do have one card that has to go in here it's that tail i think that's it yeah 
The rest of this is like Solgi and some girl group stuff. But I do have this Taeyong Super M card, but I'll just stick him right back here behind the Neo Zone card. I'm really struggling. Sorry you can't really see it, but yep, there he is. I don't want to bend him too much. Yeah, I just have this really, really small precious moments thing that I got with my Solgi card. So I just put some random cards in here. It is really cute and really compact. It's like the size of my hand. Yep, there's that binder. And next, we'll go into my Ults binder. I think that's as good as it's going to get for the lighting and camera angle. But for this binder, I actually have some Joy cards, some Lunjin cards, and a Ryujin card. So, I do have two out of five of Joy's finale cards here. I am looking to trade the actual one that I have of this to any of the other three, but I am super duper excited to be making progress on this collection. I actually have all five of Yeti's cards on the way from my friend Chiwa. Oh, I actually have some extra sleeves here. But yeah, I do have the five Yeti cards on the way from Thailand from my friend Chiwa, also known as July here on YouTube. I'll try to remember to link her YouTube down below, but yeah, I'm super duper excited to be making progress on my OT5 finale collection. And yeah, here's this joy card from the scrapbook version and the other one is from the finale version. There we go. But yep, I do have all of the places here for the rest of my finale cards. And we don't have any Chan, unfortunately. But we do have a Ryujin card. And this actually completes my Ryujin collection. So let me get that card out of this stack. I probably should have organized these before so that I won't have to sort through them in the middle of the video. But I do have the final Ryujin card that I needed, which is this MMT pre-order benefit, which is the round one one. This finishes up my Dujin collection. And yeah, that finishes up my Not Shy pre-order benefits and my Dujin collection as a whole. I'm probably not going to try to get the With Fans for With Drama pre-order benefits just because I really like these three selfies and I think that it fills up the page nicely. And finally for this binder, we have some Lenjin cards, I believe. So I actually only have one, just one Lenjin card, I guess. And the rest of this is all going to go in my Sogi binder, which is exciting, of course. But I do have this single Lenjin Kino card and then two of his circle cards. So this one is from Reload and this one is from Wee Boom. So this Wee Boom one will just go right here. I don't think I'm gonna sleeve them just because they're circle cards and I don't really think that I need them. Why did I say circle so weird? There's his Wee Boom Circle card, and then this Reload one can go in this corner. And finally, we just have this one Legend Kino card from the future version? I think this is from the future version. This is the past version, isn't it? I think it's the past version, but I'm just going to stick him over here. I am still looking for the future version. I absolutely love him. He's so cute in his little sweater from From Home. And I'll actually be adding a two pocket page, I think, right here for his resonance postcard, which is back here in my binder. It's just been chilling there. So I'll just stick it right here. And then I also have some arrival version inclusions. So I just have this sticker sheet. Does this not fit here? I swear. This postcard and then this Wee Boom scratch card. So maybe I'll just stick this here and then stick the rest of this stuff. Like, this better fit. <gasps> Thank the Lord this fits. Yes. Sorry, I feel like I'm putting this away so ugly. I'm so sorry, y'all. But this one will just go up here. That's good enough for me, but yeah, my Lenjin collection is coming along quite nicely. And yeah, that's it for this binder, and I'll go get my Sogi binder. So finally is my Sogi binder. She's super duper heavy, I feel like. Maybe it's because I haven't touched her in a long time, but I did add these little slip covers from her art commentary book on the back here. So I just have the sleep, love, and happiness version. I thought this was a really cute idea. So stinking cute. And yeah, I do have quite a bit to put away in here. And I'm super duper excited. Let me move all of this off to the side so that I can put this damn binder flat on the table. A 
Okay, sorry it's a little off center, but I think this is as good as it's going to get with my setup at this moment. But I do have quite a bit to put away. First, I have these stickers from School Oz. Oh my god, these are so stinking cute. Like, oh my god. These look so nice at the front of my binder and I'm super duper happy to fill up this space finally. That looks so good. You can't really see the topper with the School Oz OST cards, but this page is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I have some pre-order benefit cards for with drama and then the ID card that also came with the 2019 season's greeting set. I'm an absolute mess on the side of the screen here. You can't really see it, but I have this with drama card, which will go up here. And then I also have this ID card from the SM store. So here it is. I made this little placeholder off of the accordion calendar, which I think is so funny, but you can kind of see the calendar on the back. Absolutely love how the season's greeting set is coming along. I'm actually done with 2019. I'm only missing some 2020 ones. Next, I do have my photo tags from the merchandise from the SM Global Shop. So I have the day two one and then the finale one. This one does have like a little rainbow thing down here, which I think is super duper pretty. But she's so stinking cute. I love the beret concept on her. Love this concept. Like I said, for the thousandth millionth time. And for this page, I think that I'm actually just going to put a yes card here. This one right here. Just because I don't really want to stress out getting the K-Town for You pre-order benefit. People are buying it for like $15 and I'm like, what the hell? Like, it's a pre-order benefit. Sell it for like $5 or like I would pay $7 for it max. But I'm just going to stick this yes card that I have right down here in the corner. Super duper pretty and it doesn't really match the rest of them so it doesn't look as repetitive. Oh my god, I do have this one on the way for my friend Chiwa as well. Next, I have this monster card. I did like reorganize a lot of my binder off camera. I'm sure like it looks different to you guys, but I did like reorganize and reorder some stuff. So yeah, I am missing three more unit cards, which will go up there. And I actually like DIY this sticker, which I thought was super duper cute. Anyways, next up, we just have some more Sulgi cards. Obviously, everything in this binder is Sulgi, but I do have her Revel of Fan Kit cards, as well as the Lack Projection Keyring card for Monster. I absolutely love this sun hat concept. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for, like, hats, I feel like. Hats really do be bringing out the best in her idols, I feel like. And then I do have the two Fan Kit cards. This one is the signature version, and this one is the logo version. I do kind of wish that like SM changed up the photos for these just because I've seen in past years they give EXO like two different selfies which I thought would be really cool for Red Velvet but you know what it is what it is I guess these photos are really pretty and gorgeous and next up for this binder are the art commentary cards so I have all three here this one is from the love version this one is from the happiness version and this one is from the sleep version this is actually a photo of Lala one of her munchkin cats I think that I'll stick these right in the middle here and then i have her magnets here as well which i'll just stick right here as so yeah that might be cute right i might change it later but i think for now this will be super duper cute obviously this love one is probably my favorite because it's not far away like this one and it's not a photo of her cat but this one is hella cute And now I'll just stick these magnets up here. I might sleeve them later. Not really entirely sure. These were like first press, I believe. So this one will go up here. This one will go in the center. And then this one will go in the corner up here. I'm super happy with how this page is looking. 
And next, I'll add a page for my yes card. So I have like eight or nine, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I have eight right here. I might want to like mix them in with my actual cards eventually. But for now, I'll just stick them unsleeved in a nine pocket, I think. Yeah, probably not going to sleeve them since they're just like some random Chinese manganese, ca manganese cards. Magazine cards. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so crazy. These two Etude House ones, which I thought were the same, but if you look closely, this one has like silver penmanship. And then this one actually has like a rainbow effect here. So not sure if these are different, but the numbers on the back are the same, but the signatures are different. So I don't know if I'm going to keep both of them, but for now, they'll just go right there. Honestly, I wasn't going to collect these originally just because technically they're not official, but SM doesn't really put out that much merch for the girls. So I thought for like some of these eras, especially like Red Summer and Russian Roulette, where we didn't get that much stuff, it'd be super cool to have some of these Yes cards. And next, I just have some larger items, which I have to flip to the back for. I finally have these Russian Roulette Polaroids. It's been a long time coming with these, like... Oh my god, these took forever for me to get, and I'm so happy that Andy hosted a group order for them. So we have this one. This one, which is probably my favorite since it's Wenzel. And then this one. The lighting is super bad, but she's still stunning. I love the orange hair. Super excited to finally have these. Next, I have some more postcards. First, I'll put away the Season's Greetings ones. And I'll actually just stick these back here with like random inclusions, I think. And then I'll stick these two stickers in the back here. So this one was from one of their anniversaries in 2018. And this one is from their SM pop-up store. And this is like an outfit of her from Ice Cream Cake. And next, I'll put away her art commentary postcards and her 2020 fan kit postcard. So let me actually take this one out of here. This is from the perfume kit and I just stuck it behind the monster postcard set. I'm actually going to start a page right here between these standees and stickers. So I'll just put a two pocket page here and put this up here if I can get it in. And then I have all of these postcards from her art commentary book. So these two are from the love version. And then I have these four as well. So these two are from the happiness version. And then these last two are from the sleep version. Actually, will these fit in a three pocket page? Because then I can just put all of them in like one page together. Let me get a three pocket page really quickly. Let us check and see if this fits. Oh, will it fit? Oh my god, wait. Wait a minute, hold on. You're a genius, Cameron. Does this fit up here? Oh my god. Never mind, we're not doing that with the monster postcard. We're just gonna stick these up here, I guess. Sorry, this is like so messy and haphazard. This is like the worst organization video I posted. Actually, it might not be. Some of my old ones I was watching, they were so bad. It kind of is a tight fit, but you know what? I made it work and they look super duper cute here. So I'm not complaining. So those will just go right here. And then actually I'll just use this two pocket page for this postcard. And yeah, this is from the Ace kit. And then this top one is from the perfume kit for Monster. And next, I actually forgot about these, but I have these super large like poster size items. So I have these two calendar pages from 2019, these A4s, and then this rookie poster from like a brochure, and then these La Rouge film strips. But I don't really know how I'm going to store all of these because I don't think I have any one pocket pages. Um, that might be an issue. Maybe I'll just stick these back here for now and then maybe off camera I'll put in some one pocket pages if I find some.
Well, this is so sad. I feel like I'm just sticking everything back here in this back pocket, but for now, they'll chill there. Finally, I have all of these freebie cards that I've been given, so I'll just be putting these in the back along with my other freebie cards. This is actually official. Maybe I should stick this in my dump binder. I'll go do that later, but the rest of these will just be chilling in the back of my binder with the extra cards that I have. So yeah, there are all of the freebie cards that I had to put away. They're so freaking cute. And yeah, that actually pretty much brings me to the end of this video, I think. Let me like look around to make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah, I think that's actually it. I can't really find anything that I need to put away other than that stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this organization video. It's actually kind of scary because I just got a new Sulgi binder and she's already kind of up here. I don't really have too much more room to grow. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys staying to the end of this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. By the time this video goes up, it'll probably be between Christmas and New Year. So I hope that all of you are having a super, super festive and safe holiday season. Regardless of whether or not you guys celebrate the holidays, I really just hope you're having a healthy season because winter, people do be cash and coals and i'll stop wasting your guys's time but as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay safe stay healthy stay loud and i'll see you in my next video peace